Welcome back to Midford Pottery. Another throne video for you today. Uh, kicking off 2024 with as much throne as possible. Uh, standard agate ware mugs this time. So we'll, uh, we'll get the camera on the wheel. To give you a view of what's going on. Get us in the right place. Come on, that's it, move you off a bit. So I don't get in the way. We got that. There, that should do us. Bit of a bad back still, but never mind. Uh, we shall struggle on. Like I say, so this is um, Earthstone ES5. Uh, it's been ready for a little while. And these are coloured with black and plum colour. It was just a bit that I had left over. Prepped them ages ago, but haven't gotten around to doing anything with them. And Standard weight, uh, I'm thinking they're about 600 grams. We shall measure though. We'll get the scales and we'll have a measure. See what we got. Let's have a look. So it's originally uh, 500 grams, which is my standard. Yeah. So it's 500 grams of regular ES5. And then 25 grams. Uh, well, I get this. 25 grams of uh, coloured plum ES5. And 25 grams of black ES5 to give 550. So we should get a decent sized mug out of something like this. Uh, because we're throwing on the back we need to give it a little bit of moisture so it sticks. Give it a plonk on like that. So tools. Sponge on a stick. Throwing stick a la Simon Leach. We've got a wooden rib just in case. Metal rib to scrape the finished article. Twisted cut-off wire, a la Simon Leach. And then, it's up to us. Uh, get into position. So this wheel is a road. There is a number, I'm not sure what the number is. It's a road wheel. It's very nice if you can uh, stump up for it. Very nice, very powerful. Right, here we go. Bit of water on. Squash it onto the wheel. So they've got a tendency to come off these uh, MDF bats if you press too hard. And we have one cone option with the agate wear. Because we don't want to mix the clay up too much. So I'm going to do one cone. That's hopefully with the process of mixing colours in and everything like that, the clairs, the clear is relatively well prepared. So we'll get plenty of water on it. So we've coned up, we sent it down, so we push the cone forward a little bit, push the clear down, push gently into the middle, hold, so we get a centred ball of clear, and then we can lose a little bit of speed. Some water on, so now we're going to break in or put the hole in the middle, and we're going to push in my thumb tip. 
and when it dries out I tend to fill it up with water go back to where I was and then finish that pushing that down as far as I dare and of course if you're not sure of the thickness of your base oh we'll get a pin tool push that all the way through touch the clear so we're just under what's that just under a centimeter I would say for that which is about the limit that I like to go to because I do like to trim the feet on these so we'll get a little bit of speed going so now we're going to open that out so index finger is my preference and I just curl my tip, fingertip horizontally towards us nice and gentle applying pressure and then that will do and that gives us our base so now is our chance to smooth the base off so it's just a little bit of pressure to go from the middle to the outside and it just com gently compact all that clear and then if you want to you can get your sponge gently press with a sponge get all the water out so you can see what's going on so that's our the bottom of our cup and now we're going to get ready to lift so we're going to curl our clear over and that just gives us a little overhang for our inside hand to get a little bit of purchase on the clear to start our lift now I tend to go off to one side because we want to be relatively in the middle and the first lift is relatively quick so I use my thumb fingers on the inside push them together nip the clear start to move up all the way at the top like that and that sets our, our wall ready to lift about, uh, I'd say about three times to get our desired height so now I usually go a little bit slower on this next lift same, same thing so push in push out both hands go up less pressure as we get halfway all the way at the top and if your edge starts to get a little bit uneven a bit of water on hold the edge like that just press down gently with your finger and that just compacts that top edge keeps it nice and stable get some water on inside and out and repeat so again so we're going to push in push out and then start to move up and less pressure as we get halfway and all the way to the top like so oh get cramp in my hand in my arm rather and a bit of water on them so this I get where stuff is quite dry to throw with can dry out on you because of all the colourants that you add to the clay right so that's third lift so now we're thinking about shape and final sort of structure so lose a little bit more speed so now I'm thinking last bit to get some height so I'll push right in at the base push out get that clear Less pressure as we get halfway. All the way 
get to the top. So we've got a bit of height now. I've got to judge, probably get one more to get that last little bit of clear from down here. So I want a bit of water on it. I want to stabilise that top again. And we'll go even slower now. Like that. So this is probably our last lift, so this is going to be shape as well. Mine are usually random shapes. So we go to the bottom, push in, grab that last little bit of clear. Less pressure as you get halfway. Less pressure as we get near the top. Like so. Well, I mean, that's a decent, uh, I mean, it's a basic shape, but it's, I like it. It is just a nice mug. Right, so now we'll start finish this off. So we've mopped the water here, get the water out the middle, throw a little sponge on a stick. Like so. Have a look. Right. Then we'll use our chamois. We're going to smooth that top edge off. Let the chamois wear it smooth. A couple of two or three goes round. Now we've got to decide what we're doing with the base. So I've got a foot trimming tool which puts a, a round uh, profile on it. But I think these are going to be more standard. So just our throwing stick and I'm just going to take that little bit of clay off. All the way to the wheel. I want to keep that clear over there because it's coloured it so it doesn't get in the way. Get that out of the way. So that's our base and what I've been doing lately. We're going to scrape it in a minute but before that I've been using the wooden ribs just to finalise the shape and it compresses the clay a little bit as well so I'm just gently pushing the clay to the rib and that's starting to stick so I'll get some more water on my hands so I'm just pushing the clay to the rib. There we go, nice shape. So that just finalises that. Then we go back, get our, any excess water we put in, get that out the way, get that out the way. And then this is the fun bit. So what I'll try and do, I'll just dry my hands, we'll get the wheel, we'll get the camera right here so you can see the grain being exposed. One second, we will adjust that into position. Right, so there's the cameras in place. So we're going to slow our wheel. Right, quite slow, like that. So you can sort of see the grain at the minute, but we want to expose it even more. So we get our metal rib. Make sure some water on our hands so we don't stick. And we're going to gently scrape a 
and hopefully on the camera you should see the grain appear. Even more vivid than it was as we scrape all this slip out of the way. All the way at the top, I like so. There you are, not bad. Not bad at all. And that's it. So we'll get the camera zoomed out again. And the only thing I've got to finish off on this, still a little undercut at the bottom. So the throwing stick, just hold it. Let it go around a couple of times. Just cuts that. And what I sometimes have to do, because it leaves some burrs of clear on there, just last one, just gently go in with a metal rib just to re scrape that bottom bit. Like so. Just take that last little bit. And there we have an agate ware mug. So we're going to stop the wheel, we'll zoom out, if I can get it uh, the right way, there we are, we'll zoom back out, and there you have it folks, I'll just pop this up, get me back in shot, hello, so there you go, a gift lift it up so we're in shot. So there you go, an agate wear mug, uh, black and plum colour. Hope you've enjoyed the vid, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff and remember clear is the way. I'll see you another video very soon, bye for now.